this is part two of my pre-turbo throttle testing and as you'll hopefully seen from part one yeah it works but I'm still wondering not like it matters too much why it works first thing I'll show you is something I recorded a bit earlier when just for fun I compression tested this engine I said in the last video about compression testing the car and people being too worried about compression test numbers and compression testing cars that seemingly run fine well you've probably seen enough times by now how this car goes which is pretty well for a standard bottom end B200 FT regardless of condition especially on pump fuel so fuck it just for fun, not like I care, but I think it'd be funny for this video. Let's compression test it. I reckon it's gonna be really fucking low. Like, low enough that people it normally would be crying all over the internet, worrying about their car being broke. But whatever these numbers are, I don't care because I know the car runs fine, so it gives a shit. But let's find out. Plugs are out. They all look pretty much what I thought everything's normal the heat mark on the ground strap is to there you can just about see look obviously they're quite dark because they're fairly rich because that's how I run it to be safe not ridiculously look they're not black they're just dark grey they're not sooty they're pretty much bang on they're dry they're not oily it's not the only oil is on the threads itself, which obviously nothing to do with the engine. Hundred and let's turn this light off. Don't need that. Hundred and ten. It's alright, I suppose. Bear in mind this engine's done, I don't know, I don't even know. Over 200,000 miles, definitely. Um, yeah, 110. Let's see what the rest of them are. Hundred, hundred and two, hundred and five, whatever you want to call it. No, it's not even hundred and five. Uh, ten, twenty, yeah, just slightly over a hundred. There you go. Basically. Most people would call that broken. I call that, seems pretty fast to me. This is with wide open throttle by the way, it's not like I'm uh, it's doing it with a closed throttle, so it's all good. Not least, but still under 100. Yeah, this car's not healthy, which is what I've always said. But you've seen it go, so fuck it, I don't care. It's not smoking, it's not using oil. It's just worn out. <laughs> Somehow, fuck knows. All right then, you know what I'm gonna do about this? Nothing. Back to the main reason of this part two, is working out exactly what's, well, not, it doesn't even matter, but seeing what goes on to see why this does reduce lag. I mean, I talked about it in the first video and that is right, but people have asked like, oh, what's going on with the, the pressures and the vacuums and so on. And it's like, well, good point. Um, so I've already recorded this footage and I'll show you now but I'll explain it as well. I rigged up this boost gauge temporarily next to my boost controller, which 
is where I see my boost normally. But this one is hooked up um, post turbo, but pre inlet manifold throttle. Because I wanted to see what vacuum, presuming there was vacuum, between the turbo and the throttle. Sometimes at high RPM, the oil light comes on and it stays on. I would say, with a fair assumption, this engine is fucked. <laughs> Good job I've got about five spare engines, eh? I think I better put some rods in it as well this time because, well, I don't know. Let's, um, we'll take the head off this one first and then see if uh, the rods look straight. If they are, I'll probably just send it as it is. If not, set of uh, max speeding rods will be more than capable of what I can do with this. We will see. If anyone didn't believe me about how worn out this engine is, have a look at this. As my Volvo's engine is, as you'd have seen already, fucked, I gotta choose out of my spares what to use. I don't know anything about any of them, well I do, a little bit, but I don't really know which one's best. Basically, there's one at the workshop, but that's an earlier one, so I don't want to use that. These are all later ones, so technically, squirter blocks even though i don't think any of these actually came with oil squirters full stop but they've all got the drillings for it so these i think they're stronger so they're all sort of 93 that's dated in 93 that one was dated in 93 and that's dated in 94. this one it looked the tidiest of the three and this one, the head is off it because I'm using that head on the MX-5 and that head was very clean and tidy. Um, but if I remember right, this engine had a lot of miles on it. I might be wrong, but at the same time, it was very, very tidy and well looked after. But also at the same time, it was owned by somebody into tuned cars, modified cars, so that's swings and roundabouts. It was more likely to have been looked after, it really was looked after, but at the same time it was more likely to have the shit kicked out of it too. So, but it all looks good. I mean there's, you know, there's no lip on the balls or nothing like all, you know, my last one did. It actually seems good. It was obviously running really fucking rich because uh, it's black as fuck in there. But it's just sooty, it's, seems fine. But I got a funny feeling this had loads of miles, but there's no real lip on the bore at all, so it's probably fine. This one, must admit, I've got no memory of. Absolutely none. It looks like it's had a cam cover oil leak forever, because there's fucking, let's turn the thing on, just oil all the way down the block. 
but that means nothing on these, you know what I mean? So, you know, I don't know anything about that one. So that's probably my maybe last choice. This one actually kind of looks the shittest. But I do know a bit about this one. This is the first engine I picked up. It was... I wonder where this one comes from. This might have been the one I got from... You know what? I think it was. This one, I think, is the one the guys at Leadfoot Racing gave me. I think. I'm not sure. I don't remember which one this is. It would either be this one or the one that's at the workshop. I think it was this one. Don't know. Um, but again, they didn't seem to know much about it. Um, and this one, I do know a bit about it. This is the first one I picked up. It was from Harry Buckland's scrapyard down the road. Out of a, a rusted out Wentworth Auto, hence the torque converter. And it, the, obviously the car was fucked, it looked like shit. It had rusted out and all sorts of revolvers didn't even go rusty. And this don't look too pretty. But what I do remember about it is it only had about 110,000 miles on it. And it was totally standard. So 110k is nothing for one of these. That's probably the lowest mile one by far, but um, it also looks the shittest. So <laughs> whether it was ran at 110,000 miles with no fucking oil in it, I don't even know. But yeah, so I've got a choice of the three. My my gut says that one, but I also think that might have been the highest mileage one. But miles don't always matter. Just realised the um, I'd already undone the cam cover bolts on this one, and now uh, this one can wait. It looks like shit, <laughs> sludged up to fuck. Oh, it's terrible. I mean, it might be mint still, but it don't look fucking good. So I'm gonna swerve this one. I mean, there's no wear on the cams. Could be absolutely fine, but it hasn't been very well looked after. Maybe I should take the cam cover off that one and have a look. I don't even know if this one fucking turns. This one turns over very freely and happily. What do you reckon, Doris? She's like, I don't give a shit, throw something for me. Hmm, don't know, don't know. The only thing about this one is I swear it's got loads of miles on it, like loads and loads. There's certainly not like any cross, cross action left on the balls, it's done some miles, but they also don't look damaged. This one. I don't fancy it. It doesn't look well looked after. It's probably fine. But don't want to take the risk. And that one, it looks like shit. But I swear it's real low miles. But it looks the worst. I reckon I'll maybe start with this one, take it apart, see how it looks. And decide from there. 